course, uh, a bit of a programme on Channel 4 tonight involving cakes and baking. Uh, all of that to be discussed uh, between now and five o'clock. But uh, right now, as we get closer and closer to December, it's very close now, uh, we start to hear more about the amazing Christmas fundraising people are doing to make a difference. And if you're, well, driving around Bracknell at the moment, or you may have recently been driving around it, you might have noticed a fabulously decorated mini. It's been fully lit up with festive lights and the owner, Nicholas Martin, drives around basically spreading some joy and raising money. What a good plan. I love the sound of that. Nicholas is with me right now. Hello, Nicholas. How are you? Hello there. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks. How are you? Very good. I always love Christmas lights so, uh, and, and a mini as well, so I've got the two together. Tell me more about your <laughs> mini um, and uh, for those that haven't seen you going around Bracknell recently, what can people look forward to if they happen to be in the area? Um, yeah, so basically um, three years ago I I wrapped my mini in Christmas lights. There were only 900 lights at the time. And every year I've added more and more, and it's kind of become a bit of a tradition here in Bracknell um, for the rest of Mini to, to obviously go around. And, uh, yeah, normally, so when I first started, it was really just a bit of fun. Um, and then last year I uh, met a kid called Marcus who suffers from Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And, um, yeah, I, I was really touched by, by his story, and obviously, you know, I, I really wanted to help out as much as I could. So I was suggesting to people that they should donate charity. So this time around, um, I thought I would actually set up a, a fundraising page, which I've done. Um, and we've raised almost £700 so far, which is fantastic. Um, but in terms of like the car itself, uh, there are 1,980 LEDs all over the car. It is remarkable, may I say. Uh, it really is. Uh, you... You can't fail to see you at night, can you? You really can't. No, you can't. And uh, I have to say, unfortunately, I'm not able to drive around uh, for legalities. I'm not allowed to drive around with the lights on. But if I am parked up somewhere, then I will turn all the lights on. Uh, so the other day I was in Sainsbury's. Lots of people were taking photos. Uh, families were coming up and taking you know, photos with the car and everything. Um, and also from that raised uh, a bit more money, which is fantastic. Well, that's the plan, anyway. Um, and um, yes, it's it's a uh, quite it's a lovely car, though. I, I'm you know I love a mini, um, but I, I, I try <laughs> try to see. Yes, is, is it a, a, a mini Cooper? Is it a mini one? I don't know what it is. It I mean, it's uh, it, I can't see due to all the lights basically. <laughs> but it's yeah, so, um, yeah, so it started off as a mini a mini one. So I had a mini one uh, yes. two years ago when I started it. And this year I swapped it for a Mini Cooper. So slightly more powerful, uh, 1.5 litre petrol. Um, but yes, it's basically all the lights are actually powered from the car. So the car battery is actually what's powering all the lights. They are just normal household Christmas lights that you get in Sainsbury's or Tesco's. Wow, all right. So you have to drive it around every so often, if nothing else, to charge up the battery. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, and I imagine now you've got to the stage that uh, 2020, uh, people love it even more so because what a year it's been. But at the same time, are you feeling the pressure that when 2021 comes around, you have to keep adding lights? It's going to, Lord knows what it's going to be like in 2025, your mini. I know. I, 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 I think so as well. Um, I was planning to have more lights on this year, but I think I have reached the power limit of the battery. So I might have to think of something else next year. It might have to be some additional batteries that go in the boot or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, or get a, 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 a mini... Cl what's not, is it a clubman or a, a countryman, which is even bigger? Oh, so it might, yeah. have a, it might have a bigger <laughs> battery, uh, which... Uh, I have to have a word with the people up at uh, Oxford, see if they can uh, sort out a special battery for you. Uh, just finally, if people want to uh, help out, how can they donate? It's, it's one of those things that, uh, at the time, if they see you or are there other ways? Yeah, so right now, obviously, because of the lockdown restrictions, um, I'm saying to people that I can't obviously take money from them. Mm -hmm. So I am telling people to go to the website, which is festivemini.com. There's a link on there to the Virgin Money Giving page. Um, and that's how you can donate. Um, and if you live in the Bracknell area, what I'm doing is if you donate £20 or more, then I can come to you because I know how difficult it is right now for people going out and obviously abiding by the lockdown rules, etc. 
um, yeah, so that's how people can donate. And the, the charities that I, <clears throat> excuse me, the charities that I am supporting are the Defend UK, which is for Marcus, um, and the MS Trust, which is for my mother, because unfortunately she uh, was diagnosed with MS uh, about five years ago. Sorry to hear that. All right, well, um, you carry on, look after yourself, and in the meantime, keep lighting up Bratnell. Uh, I love the whole concept of it. <laughs> you look after yourself. I hope you raise lots of money for the uh, charities there. Uh, Duchenne UK, also um, the MS Trust, but uh, look out for festivemini.com and you can light up your Christmas. <laughs>